All right. I just picked up the proliferation. I can't fucking talk today. I got I got COVID again for the fucking second time. So I sound like shit. <clears throat> but I'm getting a lot done because I can't go outside. Anyone who wants that free code there, I think it's just for like online, like short story. I'm not going to bother with them. <coughs> uh, excuse me. So like always, all the character cards are solid. All the quality, it's all there. It's always good. This is a nice um, box set. Comes with a shit ton of mechs. I think eight total? Yeah, eight. <clears throat> the Kayato is one of those weird fucking mechs. Kind of looks like a spaceship that they glued legs to and shit. But, uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool looking. I like the missile pod on, uh, on its left side. I kind of wish it had, like, two of those with the lasers under them. I don't know. It just it looks like a spaceship. Like, it's ready to go fast. I don't know. Some, some of the designs are just fucking weird when it comes to mechs. The fire bee. It's a little guy. He's cute. Um, I like the head, I like the gun on the arm. <sighs> kind of basic looking, nothing too fancy. I dig the feet, <clears throat> like the outside toes are kind of cool. And the, uh, the jump pack is kind of cool. Legs are a little, like, uh, basic, kind of buggish. I do like the, uh, long antenna coming off the head. <clears throat> I like fast looking mechs. It's kind of fast looking. But I, I dig the feet and the big gun. All the sculpts look pretty decent. Just a, a close shot of the head. The lighting was shit. The Icarus isn't bad looking. <clears throat> it's kind of... Mm, I like his little jump pack things. The gun's not bad looking. His legs are like stiff looking though. Uh, I don't know. Like the legs are just like basic looking. The feet look cool. The gun is pretty uh, fancy looking. It's kind of really futuristic. Um, but the jet packs really look cool. The jump jets on the back. You see there's like a little mold issue on the right arm. Nothing too big. File that down. <clears throat> I think he just like like kind of like a meh looking mech. He's got some cool features, but eh. I don't know. I dig this feet though. I like it. I like it when they're like um, posed well. The gladiator is cool looking, <clears throat> kind of an old classic looking dude. The missile launcher on the shoulder is pretty sweet. The guns. Uh, it's always weird when you see like a mech with a hand, but yet the 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 gun is kind of like welded to the arm. So it's like it almost looks like the hand is holding the gun, but it's not. Looks like you'd have to drop the gun to, to use the hand. Or maybe the gun can move somehow. The jump jets on the back look fucking cool. It's like they have one giant turbine to, to go in. Then they have like two small exor uh, exhaust ports. <clears throat> I kind of like the uh, like that rounded thing on the head. The battle axe looks pretty cool. It reminds me of the Warhammer. I don't know if it is related to the Warhammer. I know the Hammer Hand is like the precursor to the Warhammer. I'm pretty sure of that. And I, I do like the Hammer Hands, the, the best looking. But uh, this guy is kind of cool. I like the little missiles in his shoulder. I love the way the guns look. His legs look solid. His legs look like they can actually hold up the body. This could be like a poor man's Warhammer. <clears throat> It's not as cool as the Warhammer, but it has a lot of cool features of the Warhammer. I really hope they make the, the hammer hands. I'll probably be maybe in the next wave. Who knows? I might do a video about the uh, what I want to see in the next wave. 
The Ymir, mm, the shoulders are fucking wild. I want to say that the Ymir is on one of the arrow books on the cover, maybe. I could be wrong. The shoulders are just fucking wild. I know that's what it looks like in the, the old art, too. It's got those big fucking, like, octagon shoulders. The big gun on the, its left arm looks real fucking cool. The legs will look all, like, spidery. <clears throat> it's got a lot of personality to it. A little exhaust on the back. It's just those shoulders look fucking crazy. <laughs> Definitely like a like a eighties or early nineties throwback with the style. And here's the Mackie, the first mech ever made. This is the the granddaddy of all the mechs. <clears throat> and I think it looks real fucking good. It is a chunky boy. Definitely chunkier than most of the mechs that I've seen out of all the releases. It, it's just like that. It's, it's fucking fat. It's just a thick ass piece of plastic. I think they. this is probably the best. Like when it comes to detail and stuff. Like out of this box set. This is. It seems like the, the mech they put like a lot of love into it. And maybe that's because it's like the first mech, but uh, they did it. I think, in my opinion, they did it a lot of fucking justice. Because if you look at some of those old pictures, uh, the the paintings and art from the nineties, the the Mackie looks fucking ridiculous with those uh two like belly guns and shit. It just looks fucking like goofy. It, it looks of its time back then, but uh, I think they did a good good job with it. It's probably uh my favorite good, uh, out of all the bunch. <coughs> but that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully this week I'll be, well, getting better. The whole fucking family's got COVID. The girlfriend and the kid, so at least we all got it together. And it's not like one person at a time and it's gonna like bounce around and fucking mutate in the house. But uh, hopefully this weekend, if I'm feeling better, I'm going to go to Barnes & Nobles and pick up the uh, the new exclusive for them. And then maybe pick up a uh, another um, a mat to do another mat uh, video. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Alright, take care. Bye.